Hey gang, this is Mike with My Real Estate Dojo and this video is about judging. Um, and I want to explain to you one way I judge an individual and share my story with you. But judging happens with businesses, with products, with people, with races. Um, and sometimes we, we judge because somebody looks a certain way and we think that they're guilty of something or you know or they have a certain way of thinking or there are a certain level of education because they wear a certain type of clothes and and I'm here to tell you I'm guilty of it and here's my sin I want to share with you and what what I've learned from it a couple of nights ago I was in a park walk walking I, I dropped my phone and then I went to Starbucks come I realized my phone was dropped I, I rushed back to the park it was kind of late now uh, I couldn't find it you know I looked around and I couldn't find it and where, where the phone I thought had dropped where we were standing uh, there was a homeless guy that had to put up a hamlet and was sleeping from the pole pole underneath the bridge and I thought to myself dude man this this guy took it man and, and I didn't want to just conflict him or you know talk to him and accuse him or anything I just say you know what this guy needed it just let him have it dude it's, it's all good uh, but part of me accused him of him taking it part of me wanted some kind of revenge or thought just because you know he's homeless I accused him I'm, I judged him I made him guilty of a crime that I thought that he committed because he was around the same vicinity so anyways I, I went home and then early in the morning next day I decided hey you know what I'm gonna go check that area one more time to park because I never quit so I went to that park again, I looked at it, the area, and again, I couldn't find it. And I said, you know what, let me call the phone. I called the phone, and this little Mexican lady pick, picked up the phone. And she said, oh, she had found it, and she, she wanted to give it to me. And two things, or three things, that I learned, or that shocked me, was that one, that homeless guy that was sleeping underneath the bridge in the hammock, he didn't have a home. He didn't steal my phone, he didn't take it, or anything like that. However, I accused this guy of taking it in my own mind. You know, uh, I thought he was fucked up. I thought the situation was fucked up. And, you know, even though I didn't say anything to him because I thought, hey, I should just let him have it because he really needed it. That's why he took it. Some part of me, you know, hold them accountable for it. And come to behold, the truth was he didn't have it. He didn't take it. Some other Mexican lady took it, right? And so the point number two is this Mexican lady that took it, she wasn't a thief either. She was an honest person, even though she, she, she wasn't wealthy. She, she did the honest thing and actually met me to give me the uh, phone. So the point of the story of point number two is that just because somebody's in a lower income level doesn't make them thieves or cons or whatever. Just because they happen to be in poverty, they could be honest folks. And so... Point number three is, you know, I learned not to, even though I love homeless people and I help them out and, and I donate all my stuff to them, part of me accused that homeless guy of taking my phone, but really it was my own negligence. It was me dropping the shit, me being careless with it. And then for me to find somebody else to reflect the guilt to, uh, which happened to be this homeless person because it was at a lower level uh, in the economics per se because he was living underneath the bridge you know and so after this day that happened I found the phone it really made me think about you know I'm pro homeless people and I love homeless people but look at me how I still discriminate against because somebody lives underneath the bridge that hey they may take my shit um, so it was a revelation I wanted to share that, that with you because sometimes we see somebody you know with their baggy pants and we think oh they might not be smart or oh you know they're criminals or we may see somebody with tattoos and think oh they're gang members or oh they're this or we see somebody with you know they dress different than we do and we say oh this or you know just the other day I was at um, United States Postal Service and I was in line and this you know immigrant lady came into line and this black lady that worked there just being so rude to her 
you know, like she was ignorant or something. And, and I was just thinking to myself, man, dude, just because she doesn't speak English doesn't mean she, she's an idiot, uh, you know. And and the lady was Indian. And then when I go outside, the, the, the lady didn't speak the English. She was driving a nice ass Mercedes. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, you're, you're making 30, 40, 50, 60 grand. This lady's, you know, probably has a business, probably has real estate. And you think just because her English barrier makes her stupid, it makes you a lot higher positioning. So, see, these types of judgments, you know, doesn't allow us to love each other as human beings. And it creates separation and fear. Uh, just like with me and my phone, I thought, oh man, this guy is different than me, so he took my shit. You know, instead of saying, dude, hey, I lost the shit, you know, I try to blame the shift on him. So anyways, guys, same thing happens with real estate, you know, uh, investing. If you listen to the herd, if you listen to the media, the gossip, the talk, then you might get the wrong meaning of an investment guys or entrepreneurship anyways guys go hustle and bustle don't take no for answer if you like these videos please like please share please comment see you later